What up everybody, it's your boy, this is my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Truly appreciate all the support. My battery's running low, so I'm gonna try to run through this week's episode of Last 7 Kicks super quick. This is episode 14 and I truly appreciate all the support. Now, I know you guys may have noticed I posted a video yesterday. My laptop's been down. I finally got it back, so I wasn't able to upload last week's in time. So last week's will be up there first, and then this one will be up here today, as you're seeing it right now. So I do apologize if anybody was uh, wondering or was curious about that. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Sunday, your homeboy finally busted out this pair. It's been a while. I busted out the Chuck Posits, the original, the better looking Chuck Posits. Chuck Posit 2s were trash. They repeated the colorways on a lot of them, but these ones were straight flames. Oh man, glow in the dark bottom. Just love the design and construction. As bulky as this shoe it is, the shoe is, it's still a pretty a snug fit. Um, so I would go true to size or up half a size, even though it looks huge as all hell. Monday, I busted out a pair of Adidas NMD R1. This is the prime knit colorway here. Um, super, super dope. Adidas is killing it with the number of colorways, but I'm being very selective because now with when it comes to boost, you kind of have to collect them like you do J's. They have dozens of colorways, dozen, dozens of models. They're coming out with the they've come out with the colored boost now, so I hope to get the XR1 color boost that come out in September, I believe. I wanted the gold medal pack, but I just couldn't uh, grab a pair and it was just wasn't in my budget at the time but these are sick super super dope tuesday you have the air max one a tribe call quest beats rhyme and life this was made after the cover for beats rhymes and life which i'll leave here if anybody doesn't know i've I, tribe call quest is my all-time favorite hip-hop group i'll leave my little story here i made a pack for three of their albums this one came out perfectly and this one always turns heads we got some uh synthetic suede synthetic leather super super dope and that gum bottom just sets it off but yeah man so i have beats rhymes and life on this pair and then a tcq on the other pair on wednesday i finally busted out a pair of j's we have the air jordan 3 and the infrared this colorway is flames to me i know a lot of people are like oh just release the you know the uh, og cement 3s which they should be doing in 2017. I know the black cement 3s are said to be releasing with the Nike Air branding, but I believe the white will follow suit. Um, so I cannot wait for that, but these are super dope. Quality, meh, it's all right. Just like the true blue 3s, but I actually love both of those colorways and I was able to get them without a real struggle at all. Thursday, I rode my beautiful motorcycle, Trina, into work. That's a picture over there. Hey, Trina. So I didn't rock kicks. I just wore my boots all day. These are some CD motorcycle boots. Super comfortable. One reason why I chose these is that I can wear them. And when I wear pants or jeans or shorts, they don't look like flat out motorcycle boots. They have somewhat of a sneaker feel, sleek feel to them. But they definitely do the job in protecting my feet. And I always wear all my gear, no matter how hot it is. Jacket, helmet, jeans, boots, gloves. So this is what I wore on Thursday, my CD boots. Foam Friday, I brought out a foam that I thought would get a little bit more hype, but as the date approached for release, it kind of faded, even though for years people wanted this colorway. And we have the Foam Posit 1 and the NYX colorway right here. Super loud, super bright. I don't rock it often, but I did decide to uh, wear it on Friday. I really, really love this shoe. Um, as we all know, Spike Lee originally wore it to a Knicks game, and we thought it was just gonna be an exclusive to him. Then they did a release, and these bad boys sat. So I got these for under retail. Worn them a handful of times to the Knicks game that me and my girl went to earlier this year. You know I had to do it then at the Garden, which was incredible. Saturday, I wore a pair of kicks that weren't hyped, um, but I don't believe seeing this color here. I had to get this from the end overseas. We have the Nike Air Hirachi. This is an umber colorway. Ah, love it. The suede is actually really, really nice on this shoe. Um, and I just paid, you know, retail or, or for them. Got these, geez, a little over two years ago. Again, it wasn't a hype release, 
but something about it, man, that umber was just flames. Now, this is surprisingly the only pair of Hirachis I have. Um, I do need to get more of this, just so many colorways. I really wanted to get that low rider Hirachi, that Nice Kicks release, and then the one that was from Undefeated. I do want both pairs, but they're selling for like 200 or 250 and I refuse to pay that. But yeah, this is what I wore on Saturday, these Nike Air Hirachis in the umber colorway. And that is it, folks. That is episode 14, if I'm not mistaken, of Last 7 Kicks. Stay tuned this week. I'll be doing a couple videos now that my computer's back and I'm good to go. And with that being said, it's your homeboy, the smart sneak ahead. And a brother is out. Peace.